When it comes to eating disorder recovery, it is imperative to trust the process. However, what does that even mean? First, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm Long Island's eating disorder specialist, and I post on this channel twice a week all about eating disorders, body image issues, and general mental health. So if any of that interests you, please click the subscribe button down below. Also, while you're at it, go into my description. I have a link to register for my email list. If you sign up there, you will get a newsletter at the beginning of each week. I will let you know what content I'm putting out that week. In addition, as an added perk, I do create resources to go along with many of my videos. And if I create that for the, any of the videos that are coming out in the next week, I will send them to you at the beginning of the week so that you can use them um, in conjunction with the videos to hopefully get the most out of them. A lot of people wonder about eating disorder recovery. What even is eating disorder recovery? What does that mean? What does it entail? What does that process look like? And I've noticed that I have said at a few times throughout videos or throughout different various content platforms saying that we need to trust the process. And recently I got a question about, well, what is that? Like, what do you mean by that? And I was like, wow, that's actually a really valid question. And to be honest, I don't think I actually very much explained that. Um, and it's, I love that you point that out sometimes when you are able to say that maybe there's something that I'm totally overlooking that seems simplistic to me because it's my job and it's what I do. However, if something I'm saying doesn't really make sense to you, uh, please let me know. You can comment in the videos. You can IM me on or DM me on Instagram, email me, whatever it is. Let me know because I am more than happy to answer that. Plus, a lot of other people are probably thinking the same thing, so I can create videos on that to probably help out a lot more people. So definitely, if there's ever a thing that I'm saying um, that doesn't quite make sense for you, let me know, please. So it is a very valid question. So eating disorder recovery, it is most certainly a process and it is a difficult process at that. So that process entails a lot of different factors, but two of the main, main components is working on the mental health aspect of it, of course, because eating disorders are mental health issues, which is why it's so, so important that you are dealing with or working with a therapist that works with eating disorders, but the therapy end is very, very vital. In addition to that, you need to be working on the food piece. So obviously food is a part of it. It's not everything, but it is a part of the eating disorder that does need to be addressed because obviously we need to be concerned about your health. And usually that is what a nutritionist and a doctor will be concerned about and worried about. Of course, they all overlap a little bit, but that's totally getting over um, off into a different topic. It's really important that you are working with the treatment team that knows you and that is working very closely with you on your recovery. So for a therapist, we might be setting goals to work on certain things with regards to your relationship with food, with regard to your belief around your body, um, your thoughts that are destructive to your recovery, such like that. Well, a nutritionist will help you make goals for nutrition um, and that the health piece and the physical health piece. Of course, the most vital person in all of this is you, is the person who's going through the eating disorder because while it's very important to have a treatment team that's very qualified and knows what they're talking about, ultimately you can have the best of the best and not really be getting any better because ultimately you need to do the work. And I know that's hard and I know that sucks as an answer because a lot of people don't feel that they're able to get to that point to do the work. However, it's very important that you do. And I know that you can, it feels as though it's you can't or it feels as though it's very hard because that's what the eating disorder is trying to convince you because your eating disorder has its own motivation. Now recovery is a messy process. It's a long process and it is draining. There's so many ups and downs. So what happens is recovery is not linear. It's not that every single day you get better, 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 and you feel better, 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 and then it just is always like an uphill um, positive direction. It's an uphill battle for sure, but it doesn't just go up. Uh, so there's dips and valleys in recovery. You may feel that you've been doing really well for a month or so, and then all of a sudden you experience a real downfall and you start having thoughts or behaviors come up again that haven't been present for a while. And then you're all of a sudden like, wow, I did all this work and I'm back at square one. That is not the case. 
that is part of recovery and that's the process. That's why it's so important when I say trust the process, this is what I'm referring to, that it will get to the points where you feel as though you're not getting any better. It will get to the point that you feel as though recovery is just a, a no win game. But that's not the case. That is your eating disorder. And your eating disorder is going to come out with a vengeance while you're trying to get rid of it. Again, because it has its own motivation. So please remember that recovery takes time. It takes hard work. And it takes patience. Because like I said, you have dips and valleys. You have a lot of ups and downs. You have a lot of times where it feels as though you're just working this hard to get nowhere but this is all part of the process and they're all very, very important parts of the process. So trust it. Trust that if you continue to do the work as best you can, it's not going to be perfect all the time. If you continue to see your treatment team regularly and do the work that you guys talk about and do all of that, you will get better. It just is going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of time, um, but that's something to be patient with and to trust the process. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions regarding this. You can click my face over here to subscribe to my channel and I wish you trust on your journey to finding your state of balance and I will see you in my next video.